Welcome back to Outward the Definitive Edition with all the DLC, harder enemies and much more. And today we're going to be carrying on in co-op from yesterday's episode, link down below in the description if you missed it, where we'll be obtaining one of the best bags with the highest carry weight early on, unlocking our mana bar, yes you have to sacrifice your health to actually unlock it, and also obtaining some secret skills and generally getting into a lot of trouble. Yeah, oh no no there's two, there's two, go 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 go. go. <laughs> go, 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 run away. But most importantly, you'll get a feel for what the co-op gameplay is like in Outward. Down here. Oh, Jesus. We'll be playing online, but you can also play in split screen, in couch co-op, next to a friend, on both PC and console as well. So grab the game from the link below if you want to try it for yourself. And thanks again to Nine Dot Studios for sponsoring this video. Let's start out with a cool Easter egg in town, located on the roofs of Caesar. Hey, there you are. Oh. Real quick before we take off, let me show you yep. this here. Run over to blacksmith here. We can manipulate the ramps a little bit here. So you can kind of like walk up those steps, walk up oh, to nice. here. Oh, nice. Okay, I got you. Sprint back and forth maybe. Very lightly up the edge of that. Oh, and we can go up it. there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And you see in this corner here? Oh, there's, there's a, a secret. The rib cage, shin bones. Wait, is this skeletal armor? Kind of. It just makes you look like a skeleton. Oh my the... god! <laughs> <laughs> the head is on a different roof. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I'll just have my head like this, thanks. <laughs> okay. I'll go, grab the... I'll go grab the head real quick. I don't think it has any armor value. <laughs> Not at all. Completely cosmetic. Oh, so the other one's on this roof. I see. Yep. You run up those ramps and you find your way yeah. up here. There's a skull. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is perfect. We'll go adventuring like this. I'm going to take this off. Really not a great idea to be running around. <laughs> no, no. That will definitely get us killed. <laughs> right, so our plan is to go to the northern bandit camp. So we've got to go all the way to the bandit camp at the north here. So starting out, our plan was to get my friend geared and obtain one of the highest carry weight bags you can get early on in Outward, which is from this bandit camp in the far northwest of the map. So currently, that is where we're heading. And if you watched the previous episode, link down below in the description, you will also hopefully have those two power coils, which you get scattered around the chests in the wilderness to open the secret entrance where this backpack is hidden in that bandit camp. There's two bandits down here we can take down. What I don't remember is what happens when one of us dies. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe you can resurrect. I think, think that might be it. I don't... It's been so long since I played the co-op of this. He's going for you. I'll get this guy. Yeah. Oh, I need to drop my bag. Whoops. Going ham on this guy. He's almost down. All right, come up with this one. Very good. <laughs> He's trying to do the Dark Souls dodge roll there. <laughs> yeah, there's a machete, and he has a bandage and bread. I'll let you loot them just so you have gear. This is the entrance to the bandits area there. I think they changed the uh, graphics a little bit. It feels a little less saturated. Unless this is a river, by the way, if you need some water. You want? Oh yeah, I can see the pressure plate. There, there it is on the right. You can't make them trigger. Oh, uh, they can, can yeah. What was the best way to approach this? I think it's straight through the left entrance, isn't it? Through the left entrance here, and we cut right immediately. So yeah, we, don't, we could try and aggro some people out outside, though. I'll That's leave true. my bag here, actually. All right. Cut immediately to the right behind the building. We should be you. able to pick them out one by one. Oh, guy that guy right may have spotted you. He's yeah. gonna come over. Yeah, we'll just. Checking it out. Hello. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Come on. I'm just going to stand on. behind here and ambush him from the side. Oh, God, he hit me from behind. Oh, he's gone ham with that machete. He's not messing around. There we go. Yeah, that, I want to get that, that dog. There's a guy with a hammer in that house, I recall. Right. Oh, there he is. Yep. Here we go inside there. Drag him out this way. Try and get behind him. Whoa. Here we go. Buddy. Mm. 
Nice, nice. You got him down. Go ham. <laughs> Axe is awesome. <laughs> so there's something locked in this house, um, but we need power poles to open it. I have two yep. in my bag. I'll get my bag after we've cleared out the camp and we can open it. There's also a junk pile. Oh, uh, you take the fire rags. We can use that on the bandit leader. Okay, where's that dog gone? I I think that rustling, I think it's behind the house. Oh. No. Where did it, yeah, where did it go? I don't know. I hear the, the weird clunking. That'll come back to bite us later. <laughs> it's definitely going to come up at the worst possible opportunity. The guy actually the a dog in. cage there? Yep. Should we go in and oh. take him? or We can get a sneak attack on him, actually. Yep. On three? Three, two, one, go. Kick him again. Yes. Finish him. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> don't go up there yet. Don't aggro the bandit leader because we want to yeah. deal with him last, I think. I think there's a witch on the left, too. There's an archer at the top of that staircase. I'll go for right. right. I'll go for the left then. Go, let's go. Ah! Attack! Always oh, rolled me. Come on then. Let's go. Boom. Stop blocking me. Oh, he's taking me down. Oh no, I think I'm out. Oh, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. He's one hit. He's bleeding. Oh, come on. I really messed up on that one. Let him go ham at me with the sword. Oh, nice I'm out one. of stamina again. Oh, oh that's, you've that's taken okay. him out, sorry. Yes, I don't I think you can you. roast me, I don't know what- Oh, you yep. can, thank god. I really need to get some water. He has an iron sword as well, you're a fast attacking weapon. Yep, I got a bow off of this guy. Oh, wait, there's- He's definitely- Oh, wow, that didn't do much to him. Alright, I'm gonna just- I'll take my bag off after he's- Whoop, that was close. There we go. Oh, nice, nice. That hammer really hurts him. Ow, okay. Oh, pff, I gave me an infection. Uh, here we go. Yes, nice, nice. Open sesame. Power cells in first, do we? Oh, did I not bring them with me? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I left them back at base. Now I have the power coils. I will activate this. Yeah, Yuna's eyes are still glowing. Aha! Beautiful. So this is the awesome bag. Mafinu's trade backpack. Do I go poison and electric? Then we have two forms of damage. Yep, and I got fire too. Okay, I'm gonna apply this to my weapon. Oh, uh, he's just waiting right there. Oh, he's down the staircase. I'll have a go. Oh, and the witch is right there too. Oh, where is the witch? Careful. The left. On the staircase. Oh no, this can be any worse. I could probably shoot her. One of them. Get shoot down her. Here. Shoot her, because you want to take her out first, really. Yep. Go. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, okay. All right. Well, this is. I'm gonna go for her. I'll take her out. Okay. I'll uh, I'll dance with this guy. Oh god, that did half my health. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Get down. Almost down. Okay, okay, she's down. Come at me, brother. Whoa. Oh, okay, yeah, nice, nice. He's on you again, watch out. Jesus. Oh. The roll is instant compared to the dodge, which is nice. He's almost down. Ah, oh, yes, nice. There we go. Added boots. He's got the, the the key to his castle. All right, let's go up the hill fort now and see what was here. Up to the top of the fort, the, the crow's nest. A map of his next raid. 
And we can open this with this key. There we go. The ornate chest. What's inside here? Oh, we got the broad dagger, iron spear, mist potion, Bradbury wine. You can see the Conflux Mountain, which is where I guess we'll go next. We, is this going to hurt us? Oh. What, dropping from there? I would have thought that would hurt. Oh. Oh, there's something over here, too. On the map, it says that is the ancient ruins. That doesn't sound very appetizing. No, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Oh, watch out for the traps on the right. I mean, left, sorry. Almost BMG there. Let me get some water. I love the purple landscape of the mountain. I, wa I want to see more of this in, like, fantasy games. It looks awesome. But they've, uh, they've got, like, lore to explain it as well, like, because the closer you get to the mountain, the more... Mana is flowing fl see, from it. You kind of see it in grass, like as yeah, it waves. It's, yeah, it's awesome. So our next plan of action is to head up the Conflux Mountain, which can be done by climbing a series of three different paths to reach the center of the mountain and unlock your mana. However, each path has a different puzzle to solve to reach the center. So we are right here right now another one if you go all the way up the mountain just over here there's the walking up the left that left path i think leads to the top of the mountain this leads to that oh this is the blue chamber conflux path so we are right here right now you can see the oh, fortress a here. and the hyena check some nice dodge i don't have that properly Quick slotted, no. He's oh, bleeding well. to death anyway. Okay, behind you, behind you, behind you. Oh. Hello. The big hammer wielding bro. Yes. Oh! Took that Oop. hammer swing right to the chest. And there's some oil here. I'm just going to hold and gather this burning oil with my bare hands. So there is a boss at the top, but he's pretty difficult uh, on this game mode, I think, because it's much harder than it was before. So let's just do the complex path. Yep. Uh, it's one of those, like, big mantis things, right? Yeah, it's like a, a special one for the top of the mountain. Perfectly fine with not, not worrying about it. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> I think we need to set up a lot of traps to kill it. I think even even before it was it was hard. Are we dropping bags outside? Or? I would bring him along. We're gonna be fighting around our backpacks a lot. And one, oh oh, this is the mage. I got ready. I and sneak around behind. And steal her bed. Give her the wombo combo. Quick one, two. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the stagger just in time. <laughs> I think she went oh. for the punch. There's some food and mana stones in there if you want. Oh, and we oh, get the yeah. Explorer Lantern in here. Awesome. I'm going to put that on my bag. Uh oh. Coming back up. Huh, what have you found? The Troglodyte Cavern down there. Right. That's about, about to get weird as we go down there. Are you ready? Yup. Here we go. Ooh, oh, hi. oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you triggered. Go ham. Nice, nice, the other nice. Guy's, the other guy's triggered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's throwing stuff. Ooh, oh, watch out. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, it hits like a truck. You don't dodge. Woo. We should have brought a pickaxe to this party, really. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about here, is that, oh. that's got a trap right in front of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well <laughs> I spotted. walked right into it. Can you avoid that? Yeah, nice. Oh, you're going to die to poison. Oh, no. no. Old Y to revive you. Oh, I got rid of my uh, infection. Ah, that was <laughs> that was effective. There's nothing in, there's nothing in there. What did you loot it? Uh, I got it. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? It's Dude, a... there's a big wibbly wobbly jellyfish. Go, what go, go. the hell is that? I don't know. It staggers really easily, though. OK, 
Okay, I got it. That was kind of terrifying. Elemental, okay. Oh, there's fur armor here. Did you want that? I dropped it. <laughs> is it any good? Uh, probably be better than... Do you have the makeshift leather yeah, on? Yeah, this is really good. So there's a way down over here. Actually, is... Oh, that's a one way down there. Yeah, one of those just leads to something that's not quite quite fun. Like, it's a... I think it's one of those mantises. I think it's the elevator, right? Oh, there's another climb the rope. We climb the rope. We climb the rope because that's that's that you can come back up from that. <laughs> I like how that's the thinking. That's the oh okay. Oh okay yeah. Area the area on the other like. side, there's that golem that kicked kicked me and my friend's ass over and over. Oh, I can see it. That was one of the steampunk golems, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. A massive Not... mana river. It looks sick. Pretty cool. So, there is something over there. Amalite Helm crafting. Awesome. Do you want the put the potage? Uh, careful. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Yep, okay. Um. Oh God. Should we leave yeah, or? The, yeah, oh no no. Let's... There's two. There's two. Go 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 go. <laughs> go go go. Run away. Climb the rope. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. No. That is not where we wanted to go. That yeah, was the that... one we weren't meant to go down. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Let's try up. Up. Up feels a. Uh oh uh, here we go. Up feels better. Oh yeah, he's down. Nice. Ow, okay. Hello. Okay, almost gone. There we go. Do you need, like, some health? Because you're, like, really low. Yeah, I got bandages. Don't worry about it for a moment. It's another trog. It's the oh, mana one. Oh, yeah, yeah. These guys are okay. They just hex you. Wait until we cast a spell. Right. Stagger's super easy, though. A mushroom oh, the... halberd doesn't seem very effective, though, does it? Okay, there's actually another lever here. Okay, so we've just lowered that lift down. This is good. What happens if you press that one, then? Oh, it goes just up, up. Let's, let's go back down now we've activated the lift. Oh, okay. What's up? What's up? Trap. You good? Trap on the ground. Oh, <laughs> how did we ran both... straight into it. We ran past that like three times. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Watch and out that for that one. one. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get in here and go up. Oh wait, does someone else need to pull oh. the lever? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so... oh. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I'm gonna done. I'm done running in the dark. I'm gonna go pull that lever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run over that trap again. <laughs> It's it's good because you have like a second to run away from it. All right. Ah, there we go. Is there anything there? I don't know. It looks oh, like a dead uh, end. Yeah. What? Well, let's send you all the way up. Okay. Okay. Let me go. Up. I better not there's die. A... There's oh, one second. Uh. Oh Jesus Christ! Almost rolled onto the trap by accident. So there is. The Conflux Chambers is up here. Okay. But how do you get no. up? That's what I need to figure uh, out. The, there's a, the lift over here. Do you have a, a lever up the top of it? Oh, okay, one sec. So this lift opens up the path that we need to actually get to the Conflux tra uh, exit. So maybe I, there's another lever up here. Okay, so if you if you retrace your steps to the other lift... Yep. Yeah. Um... I can see that there's a lever down there, all the way down. Okay, so old white to dissemble. Do you have a sleeping thing? Actually, you might as well grab that one. Yep, I do. That goes down. But how does that help us get in there? Don't know. So there's got to be another path, even. So maybe we do have to go down. Yeah, because there's a little path we can drop down here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so do we drop down there? Have you just dropped oh, down? Oh, yeah, I, I just, I just dropped let down. off. So. Oh, God. Yes. So... They put that trap right underneath where you fall as well. Oh, oh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, this is where the mantises are. Oh, God. Should I come down and help? Uh, I can just... Let me get my electric ready and run. I'll come down. I can so... run around them. Okay, well, so we'll I, the... I'm going to have to run past them anyway. Oh. 
<laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, just run the gauntlet around them. Then okay, that over so there. I have to beat them over. So it's got to be something on the other side. Oh, run away! Should we go down yeah. here. Then? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna have to enemy. be careful oh, because oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There's one down. Ah, uh, okay. Agatum. Oh god. That was close. My weapon is badly damaged, he's just done half my health. Okay. Watch out, he's coming for you, he's coming for you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, that was close. Oh god, Jesus Christ! Okay, that was almost me dead. It's almost dead. Okay, there okay, we got okay. it. Oh, nice, nice. Good. <laughs> Insect husk. Oh, did it kill the sword Ooh. golem? That would be awesome. There is a trap, though, on, on the middle left. There's iron spikes. This is the dead sword golem. Oh, so it did kill one of them. Broken golem reaper. 19 damage. And also a steel shield. I'm actually drop, um, start using a shield then. But, oh, sick. Look at me now. <laughs> no, 19 damage. That's, that's pretty good. And then I can just sort of play a tank while you're ranging people. Watch out for the traps, there's two around here. Are you okay for health? You look low. Oh, trying to make some bandages here. Uh, I'll be alright. I'm recovering slowly. So if this wasn't the way to go, where... Okay. Oh, you are dead. Well, that one's, that one's You that are one's not cheeky. okay. Look. <laughs> Yeah, it's like what? half it. Move away. No, 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 watch, there's no one. <laughs> oh, God. That one's, that one's a bit cheeky. Come on. <laughs> yeah, there, there are a lot around here. Do you think it was just a puzzle with those elevators? So both of these levers next to this elevator are down. Down. Yep. And, and then we, we go get up. on the elevator and we can go up. And I left the other up. elevator at the top already. Yep, which is good. So now we need to put the others down. Watch out for the trap. Oh! That goes all your health again. Just sprint and just gotta sprint through it. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work out for you. <laughs> and we pull these both so that when we go pull the lever, it will eject go us up. up again. Yep. That was really simple. <laughs> that was actually so simple. We were overcomplicating that massively. <laughs> okay, now pull the lever. There we go. And we've already completed the path with the other lift at the top, so we can just run down here. Yep. And enter the conflux chamber. Watch out for the trap. The last trap. No, no! <laughs> don't run away! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I was so close to death. No, I missed it. I saw you running at it imminently, then pulled to the side. For our oh, this guy's got fur armor, too. Nice view, though. Got to crash ships down there. Uh, that blue glowy stuff, I don't think... I think it was purple before. It looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah. This is where we learn. We master the voice. As simple as staring at a rock. The first watcher. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line and in return what you give up will be given back to you as mana be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up because you can never get it back oh god you can make yourself super squishy and just not be able to keep the game <laughs> <laughs> the first time you gain mana 200 you mana gain your 20 health spell the spot so what, what does it go to hey, look 200 mana, 50 health. <laughs> so you can go all in. Listen to me. <laughs> oh. Um. I'm going to go for 40 mana, I think. Um, I just for buffs. So the first spell, I think it's only one person gets it. So do you want it? Yep. I say yes. Spark has been learned. Welcome, mage. May your talent for magic only grow stronger. No, yes, I'm okay. battle brother. Did you uh, also, yeah. Listen to me. Oh, Listen to me. Go. Now that mana flows through your veins, I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. 
Uh, Reveal Souls is actually really good for regenerating mana when you're on the go. Yep. Uh, Fire Sigil is a good damaging spell, but I'm actually going to go for Reveal Souls. You're you can also teach us Flamethrower for oh, 50 silver. Stronger. Seems like a scam to me. I don't need that. I'll take it. You can buy spells here, right? As Magic well. is the weapon. Oh, oh yes, turn it for Targe. This guy's armor is insane. Perfect. All right, so now we've unlocked our mana. So we head surface. out the exits. Uh, I think it leads us to the beach, actually. We could give it a, a shot. The These guys are pretty tough. There's like one or two people out front. We'll test the water. Okay, yeah, there's yeah, this guy here. See what we... Oh, oh yeah, this guy true. with a huge shield. I remember him being a bit of a problem. Oh yeah, that does no damage. Oh my god. Okay. He can roll that quickly with this shield. Come on then, mate. Attack. He's dodging from behind and coming ham on me as well. Oh my god. Whoa. Bloody hell. Okay, I'll, I set my bag off here. Oh! God. Oh. You know what? I should get that lantern out. Oh, where'd I just drop my bag at? Oh, throw the lantern to burn him, you mean? No, I got a di different idea. Oh! Still alive? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! That's awesome. Okay. That did some good you damage. You found his weakness. Magic. <laughs> The 50 silver was well spent. <laughs> Is he still burning? Yeah, he's still burning. He's burning to death. Awesome. Stabbing in the back. Yes, oh. nice. We got him. Oh, that that burns it out, though. That... Oh, it destroys the lantern, basically, to do that. Oh, you got a tower shield now. Oh, damn. Is that actually better? Um, so this does 25 defense. <laughs> the tower shield only does 18 defense. It has what? 56 <laughs> impact. It doesn't even have that good impact resistance. I mean, it looks cool, but compared to the steel shield, not as good. Our next plan from here was to head back to Sirzo to sell our wares and prepare travel rations for the journey to another region of the world. We also visited the skill trainer in Sirzo to get the perk Fitness, which increases your maximum health by 25 and the amount of health you restore while sleeping by 20%. If you're using a shield, you can also get the Steady Arm perk, which increases your resistance by 10 while you're blocking, and much more importantly, the Shield Charge perk, which lets you rush forward and hit bows with your shield for higher impact damage. We're not going to get the skill breaker perk yet, and then we're ready to head out of town. However, before we left, we had one final place to visit. So our plan of action is to go from the city of Sirzo, just here on the map, all the way to the east, down this pathway, towards the Conflux Mountain, and eventually we're going to get to this crossroad, sort of T-junction, just over here where we're going to go northward, sort of northeast, and there's going to be a cave just over here. And in this cave, we're going to find a secret encampment where we can find an immaculate who, if we visit now, will actually give us a hidden reward, which we can request. He does move on to another location if you don't visit him early on in the game, though. So I wouldn't miss out on doing this now. So, Conflux Mountain is over there, and directly north of it, pretty much left across that T-junction. Is that T-junction? Yeah, so I go sort of east here, the north. And there should be like a little stone arch there, past that T-junction. You can see it in the distance. I think this is where the guy yep. has his camp. There's a hidden character here that you're going to want to visit before he travels onwards, and you miss out on a potential That's reward good. he can That's give good. you. And we can get possession from him, which gives us resistance to poison. Oh, yeah, Fain, if you've got your... well. Did I bring it with me? Yes, I did. Leave it yes. in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this... Here yeah, I've been saved by this guy before. Yeah, yeah, he can save you as well, and you can wake up here if you die. <laughs> The sea breeze in Cherisone always fills me with the urge to travel. It's a pity that winter is so unbearably cold. You help me. I don't possess much, but I offer you a piece of my survival gear. What drives you? So he can give you a tent if you say shelter. I can't remember what he gives you if you say equipment. 
Storage, I believe, is a certain bag. You can look quick. Something of the nature. Yeah. I need power, gives you the poison boon, though, which is pretty useful depending where you're going in the game. <sighs> what could I teach a human? Ah, I know. I can teach you a way to become resistant to decay magic and poisons. Make your own far more powerful. I call it the possession boon. Teach me it. Sit and close your eyes. I will help you unlock the power to manipulate corruption that lurks within you. There. The queasiness will fade shortly. Ah, that took a lot out of me. I hope you find the possession boon spell useful. <laughs> oh, you can get that halberd. If you don't, if you don't take more than two gifts before meeting him for the fourth time. So, if you need equipment, he'll give you fur armor here, master trader garb in the next area, and mother basic. Master trader garb is pretty good. So I would hold out. So we're currently in this cave, and now we're going to go south past the lake and follow this path all the way to the southeast over here to the M Marker Forest. And that's going to take us to another region of the game. But in order to travel there, we're going to need travel rations, which we've already crafted. And it takes three travel rations to travel there and two days to actually travel, which means your food's going to decay and lots of other things. So you need to be prepared. However, before we actually travel there, on the way, there's actually a crash boat on the shore here, which you will easily spot. And there's a secret puzzle on a chest that you can open before we head out to the M Marker Forest. Was this the crash that happened in, you know, to the people of Cirzo? It was not, but if you, there's a certain dialogue option you get with Yizan, I think his name was. Oh, he Your tells friend. you where the shipwreck is. Dude, he tells you there's the uh, Argensen's, Argensen's ah. stash. <laughs> What's that? So... It looks like He's... someone used this to hide a stash of gears. Oh, this could be from the bandits. Yeah. Um... Nope. Uh, so if you push it, there's... If you go in and push the hidden panel... Panel hidden beneath the wood. Five elements surface under the scrutiny. A skull with two stars embedded in its eyes. A sun, a fish, and a red moon. I, if push I remember right, moon? it's a moon and then the stars. The moon clicks firmly into place. Oh, that sounds good. The stars. The stars move slowly in the rusty mechanism, then finally give way, revealing a secret drawer. Nice, this stuff is coming with me. Or leave it? What do you think? Nope, come with me. <laughs> 35 silver, not bad. So now we've looted that chest, we're going to head eastwards to the end marker forest. And we're going to end this episode here. I very much hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video if you did. And you can also find a playlist with a walkthrough and lots of other guides for Outward linked down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.